There is one thing in your speech that you got wrong. What was it? You never really lost me. But what did I lose? What have I lost watching this movie? My time, my sanity, my brain cells, my hope for humanity. What about the things I have lost? This would finally be the weekend where I finished Shadow and Bone because you know I've been putting it off for several months now. But a lot of people have been commenting on my videos and tweeting at me, asking me to react to the movie He's All That on Netflix, which stars Addison Rae, who is a TikTok star. It ages me very much to even describe this movie. All I know about this movie is that it's a reboot of the 90s classic She's All That, except the genders are reversed. So it's about a really popular pretty girl who decides to give a a nerdy guy a makeover. Wow, I wonder if they will end up accidentally falling in love. I guess we'll see. I just want to know if a movie can be as bad and nonsensical as The Kissing Booth. I feel like it's impossible to stoop even lower than that, but we'll see. So let's just dive into watching this movie and getting it over with. Good morning, guys. It's me, Paget Head to Toe here. I know it's really easy to make fun of influencers, but honestly, you do it too for the fucking check. I would 100% be eager to be one of those vapid influencers if I was convinced conventionally attractive. No shame at all. Okay, so I know we're supposed to see that there's a disconnect between the lifestyle that she's showing on social media versus the lifestyle she's actually living because of the state of the rest of the place she's living in. But her room was pretty spacious. So she's not even poor because if she's living like this, assuming this is like in LA, this is probably like $5,000 a month. Another late night? Uh, seven to seven. Mm, how was it? Two heart attack victims. Yeah, and a gentleman on meth with a stab wound to the neck. What a nightmare. I can't even make fun of this discrepancy right now because this is actually my sister and me. My sister is a doctor and she's fucking tired all the time. And technically I'm the influencer <laughs> in our fucking family. This is a pretty realistic depiction of working in the healthcare field because she is always complaining about her job. She absolutely hates being a doctor. It's so tiring. It's so draining. It's very depressing. Meanwhile, my job is to sit on my ass and watch a shitty Netflix movie. It's the societal discrepancy for me. Anyway, the lesson is, and I can say this because I'm technically an influencer as well, influencers are fucking easy work. It's the healthcare workers who are really doing all the hard shit. Do you have any idea how my bill from the plumber got paid? Yeah, I Venmo the repairman. <laughs> you know what? This bitch is a fucking hustler right here, and I respect that. It's a vapid job, but it helps pay the bills. Clearly better than the shitty nurse job. The sad part is, a lot of influencers do get paid more than nurses. If you gotta be a fake bitch to survive, then so be it. Okay, she's definitely so rich because that's a pretty big house in the middle of LA That is definitely not as poor as the store is trying to make her out to be la, 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 la. These guys look like I would cover my drink if I went to a party with them. Oh my god, please tell me that's not the main love interest Ugh. Jordan's this super popular guy in your grade and you're just a uh... found the truth in a world of bullshit. Yes. You're welcome. Ew, please. It's giving me Jughead wannabe. We just need him to give that weirdo monologue and be like, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. And I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? That's weird. I go see my friend Jada's band. She's opening up for Bunker Moe's at the door. Isn't she the one who tried to hit me with her ukulele? You called her music twee and derivative. Well, it is. I don't like this guy. He's too pretentious. I actually like Addison Rae a lot better, and I think she can do a lot better than this guy. He's a scrub. He looks like he smells. He's fake woke. I'm not into him. I feel like by the end of the movie, she's going to be less of like a lifestyle beauty influencer, and she's going to be someone who embraces her hobby of baking, because it sounds like she's really into it. And action. Ooh, looking at that though, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Ooh, she's gonna walk in and turns out that he's cheating on her. Uh, you scumbag! <laughs> and I made you broken boosh! <laughs> and I even made it with almond flour so you would fart during your precious video! Oh my god! Not too shabby, JV did. <laughs> that old lady is me watching this movie right now. What? You're still alive. Why didn't she just turn off the video? You feeling okay? 
You missing school today? This is how you know the main character had to be white in this movie because no parent of color would ever allow their kid to skip school just because they're not feeling that well. It's not just the breakup. I was humiliated. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a bad thing for her because I feel like this just makes her look good. Like now she's getting all the clout and the followers and people know that he's a piece of trash. Wouldn't she win from this situation? Why did I have to go live? And why did Alden keep recording? Because you always go live and Alden must have been in Shock. Mm-mm. No. Alden's a fake bitch. She chose to continue going live for a reason. Wait, is he doing well from this? What? Why would she lose followers? Bubble girl. Oh my god. Okay, but that wouldn't be enough for the internet to unfollow her. I feel like what writers in teen movies don't understand is that the internet is less outraged about some trivial embarrassing thing like a nose bubble and would be more outraged about a guy cheating on a girl. Because the internet now is very performative. So if you do anything that seems immoral, like cheating or saying something that could be offensive, that's something that the internet would actually be outraged by and unfollow you for. In this scenario, they would feel sorry for the girl and probably think that she's so relatable because of the fucking nose bubble thing. So I'm not believing this shit at all. Where is the performative activism? Because that is peak internet culture. Realistically, everyone would call the guy a piece of shit and then they would look through all of his old tweets or videos or whatever to see that he's actually racist and then they would cancel him and that would be the end of the story. She would profit off of this. We pay you because you're the makeover girl. I'm still that girl. No, you're a meme. You're bubble girl. Okay, so that's why she decides to give a makeover to that smelly looking jughead wannabe so that she can redeem herself as a makeover girl because he seems to be impossible to make over. But that doesn't really make sense because if you look at him, you can clearly tell that he's some conventionally attractive white dude who just wore a beanie and flannel. Like you can tell the actor has never been one of those high school rejects because he has like the chiseled jawline or whatever and the blue eyes and then they just try to dress him down. All he has to do is just wear a different outfit. But you gotta admit, she kind of brought it on herself. You're saying she deserved it? Okay, I did not say deserved. I don't believe you, bitch. You are the one who chose to continue filming it live. I don't trust you. But after years of this 4.0, hot boyfriend, insta-perfect corporate sponsor trade, I mean, something had to give. Oh, this bitch is a hater. Honestly, yeah, there are a lot of people out there when they see you doing so good, they want to take you down. She's a typical hater all around. Hey, Bubble Girl, you need me to pop that thing for you? Back off, sleazeball! Aw, I like the girl in plaid. She's a good friend. And she does have a cute outfit, so that's bonus points for her. Who the hell does he think he is? When I first met him, his real name was Jordan Dickman. Makeovers are my thing, and I made that guy. Wait, so she gave him a makeover, but the end result was that? Girl, I don't know if you want to brag about that. Queller. What the hell are you doing? There's a perfectly untouched orange next to a discarded math textbook. It speaks volumes, right? Dude, I hate this guy already. I just know his photography is so shitty and fake deep. He is the worst. What about him? Oh, that's Cameron something. Me trying to point out any white guy. Oh, that's Cameron something. Nisha Mundium? I always thought they were dating. Doubtful. Pretty sure she's gay. Good for her. Oh my God, they should have given her a makeover. <gasps> she's all that but make both the main characters women. Ooh, the possibilities. Dude, that would actually be pretty damn good. You got the pretty popular girl and the grungy emo girl and they become a couple. Ooh, no, no. Netflix is not even capable of making something quality like that. <sighs> <laughs> My bad, bro. Fascist. How is that fascist? He's not even using the words right when he's trying to be performative. He's so annoying. Maybe bullying is okay after all. Not this white on white crime. Ugh, I'm just watching the scene and I'm thinking about how the movie would be way more interesting if the outcast was a girl instead. And then the two of them could end up becoming best friends. Maybe something even more. It's okay if it's platonic too, but either way, I think it would be really cute. What do horses eat anyway? Just so Horse feed, hay, grass mostly. Wow, they have so much chemistry with each other. I can really sense it in their riveting conversations. Girl, you just shoveled poop. You don't want to put your hand so close to your mouth. This is how the coronavirus starts. <laughs> Disgusting. Aren't you captain of the dance team? So <laughs> Ew, are they throwing shit at each other? <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Bitch, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this right now. They are throwing literal shit at each other as a way to flirt. Ugh. Are the straights okay? I don't think so. There is a karaoke party this Saturday at my friend Quinn's house, and I was hoping you guys could come. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll be there. I wonder if she decided to accept it because she has a crush on Quinn. That would be an interesting subplot. What are we even doing here? Eating free Pizza Hut is what we're doing. Ooh, free pizza? That would be a good reason to go to a party. I've literally gone to meetings just for the pizza before. <laughs> Just be jealous of me. Why is he smiling? Wait, he thinks this is charming? Oh, this doesn't make sense. He's been really pretentious about everything else. Now all of a sudden he's charmed by her doing TikTok dances to Teenage Dream. Is he gonna join her to karaoke? Why would he do that? This doesn't make any sense to me. You make me Oh my god. Like Please. Please stop. Stop! Stop! Why would she get more followers from that? Wouldn't she get less followers from this shit? Is this gonna be their song? Are they gonna play the song at their wedding? Ooh, are they gonna be a thing? Little hair bun girls. Can I get some KFC to go? Yeah, sure. Wait, they got KFC at this party? Dude, this party? I would wanna go there solely for the food. Cameron is like a brother to me. You do anything to hurt him, I'll put a croquem bouche in your croquem face. Girl, why are you caping so hard for this man? Would he do the same for you? There's literally nothing pleasant about him. What does he even do for you in this friendship? What's all this stuff? Uh, gifts from dad. Uh, great. What's the occasion? Nothing. Stupid. At least he's trying. I disagree. Not the daddy issues. Let's try to beat this out of him when you do his makeover too. I don't have the patience for this. I always wanted to see Paris. You mean you want to take pictures of yourself in Paris so your followers would know oh. you went there? Should I just do what you do and take rolls and rolls of pictures and never show anyone? Exactly. Also, we got to see a sneak peek of the pictures you're taking and I'm pretty sure that she takes better pictures than you because you were taking pictures of literal garbage and the angles were so off. You were using flash it was all bad honestly i do believe that she probably takes better pictures than him it's like a classic old-timey train station well it's actually a working train station where people take trains <laughs> <laughs> Was that supposed to be a good photo? It's literally just a man eating ice cream. This guy gives me the vibes of someone who would take photos of an old Asian worker rolling a cart in the middle of the street and thinking that's gritty art when it's literally just like our grandmas or something. When it's okay to shoot. I knew it! I knew he was the kind of bitch that would do this shit. I swear, these kinds of photographers think just taking a picture of an elderly Asian person is art. I'm like, bitch, that's my grandpa. And after our mom died, it's four years ago, plane crash. They were on their way back from Laramie, and um... Um, not the random trauma dumping. Is this relevant to the story, or is this an attempt to give him character depth? She is the one who gave me this camera. Damn, your dead mom gave you that camera, and you still suck at photography. <laughs> she is rolling in her grave right now. This is the laziest montage ever. They literally just propped up a camera and had everyone take turns dancing in front of it. It's the lack of effort for me. How the fuck does he have abs and muscles? When the hell did he have the time to work out? Come on, just come out. I'm I'm telling you, he looks the same. The difference is that he's just wearing different clothes and he has his hair pushed back. He looks like a business major that would gaslight me. He looks like he's gonna talk to me about cryptocurrency. If I didn't know any better and you weren't my brother, I'd say you look pretty hot. Ew, girl, why would you say that about your brother? Oh, Cassandra Clare is typing. Wow, I look like the before picture for you. Stop. <laughs> You look great. I knew she had a crush on her. My sapphic senses were tingling. Is uh, everything okay? Yeah. I was thinking about going to get another one though. Ew, is he gonna be a predator against that younger sister? Oh my god, please no. Ew, ew, ew. This is gross, but also realistic. Oh, photo booth, seriously? <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, this turns into the kissing booth. I'm gonna unalive myself. She's my little sister, you idiot. And if you ever touch her again... What, you wanna go? You wanna go, man? Let's go! Why'd you just take off your shirt? That's for me to know and for you to find out. 
Um, this is getting a little bit fruity. They about to kiss or what? Aaron, that was amazing. Let's go get the truck. Wait, you're not leaving, are you? Why would he want to stay? This party sucks with this fucking dumbass around. But don't forget your camera. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God. What a dick move. Damn, I really hope those pictures get recovered, though. I wanted to judge his photography skills. The way she's taking her makeup off and nothing is off. And Jordan? What the hell is going on? Oh my God, you've been planning this all along. Girl, we already knew she was a fake bitch. It took you almost two hours to figure this out. You can drop the act. We know you're poor. Stop. I mean, your mom's a nurse. You can't afford a car. You live in that dumpy little shack on Clinton. The funny thing is, she's not even poor. Like, that's a nice, spacious house that she's living in. In LA, she's making way more money than most people. Is there any chance you could come over after school? There's actually something I wanted to show him. Oh, he's gonna show her his photos. All right, let's judge this shit. Let's see if he's actually good. So you've been taking pictures your whole life then? Taking pictures his whole life and they still fucking suck. These are amazing. Now these photos look generic as hell. I took a photography class, like an introductions course. This looks like the same shit you would see there. You know you could totally make money at this, right? You know I don't care about money. This is what rich people say. This is how you know he has money, because he's like, it's not about the money. What are you hiding from? You know I could ask you the same question. Talking about this. What, her face? Huh? Wait, what? Why would you mess with her makeup like that, dude? Get your fucking hands off her. After we kissed, things just kind of got weird. Of course they did. First kisses can be awkward. First time having sex, that can be even weirder. Ew, why are you talking about this with your brother? How could oh, Cassandra Claire? I know this isn't usually my style. Really? That was the photo that you took of her? It's giving me photography 101. Paget, do you think there's something you should tell Cameron? I made a but that I could take some person and, and, and make them over. What kind of person? A loser. A loser like you. Whatever major loser. I convinced myself that I did my post because I cared about my followers, but maybe I was just doing it for myself to get money. Wait, you weren't aware that was the intention? I thought we all knew that's what we were doing. I thought we were all about the hustle. You thought this was out of the goodness of your heart? Tell me why in the hell I should help you. I know you two have lost so much more than me, but I've lost a lot recently. I lost my self-respect. I lost my college fund. I lost my friends. Girl, if you're trying to apologize, don't make it about you. But the only thing I truly care about losing is your brother. It's the way her acting is giving me nothing right now. The only thing I'm truly scared about losing is your brother. Because, Cam, I've missed you. I miss the way you used to be, you know, before... before mom. Like, ever since you've been with Paget, okay, you've been back. You've been smiling again and you've been happy. Like it's the way the little sister is like, this is my Oscar moment. I'm gonna act rounds against all these other TikTokers. I like how these are supposed to be high school students, but you can clearly see the forehead wrinkles. <laughs> prom queen Paget Sawyer she is gonna give a speech about the lessons she's learned throughout this movie and I'm gonna lose 10 years off my life this is me and this is also me but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret it's all fake because the truth is this is the real me <laughs> and so is this the way she's still wearing makeup in all of the photos. Like someone special once told me. It's the way that photo looks like she fucking died. That's a memorial photo right there. Why is it in black and white? And then she's gonna see him waiting for her. Oh my God, was this why there were so many scenes and details about him being really into horses? There is one thing in your speech that you got wrong. What was it? You never really lost me. 
But what did I lose? What have I lost watching this movie? My time, my sanity, my brain cells, my hope for humanity. What about the things I have lost? Not them riding on horses into the sunset. Cameron has promised to help me post photos every day along the way. Her approach to social media has not changed at all because she acts exactly the same. The difference is now he's her Instagram boyfriend. Good for her, I guess. Dude, these photos fucking suck. He's never gonna make it as a photographer. I'm sorry to say. You better be so glad you're not interested in money because you would not get paid shit for this. Oh my God, are they getting matching tattoos? <gasps> they got matching tattoos that say loser. even know what to say at this point. I feel like this movie commentary wasn't even me making any witty jokes. It was just me staring, dumbfounded, speechless. When you've lost so many brain cells, you can't even say any jokes anymore. Was this better or worse than The Kissing Booth? I honestly cannot say. I do like it was shorter than The Kissing Booth. I feel like it had more of a cohesive and simple plot line because The Kissing Booth was like way more nonsensical. But I feel like that's also what made it stand out because it was so nonsensical. Whereas this movie felt like it was so vanilla and forgettable. So I truly cannot tell you. Since I survived another crappy teen Netflix movie that you have made me watch, I figured I might as well get confident compensated for it. So this video has been sponsored by NordVPN. Fun fact, NordVPN can actually unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment sites. So anytime you want to watch a movie or a TV show, but it might not be available in your country, you can actually change your IP address so that you can unlock the things that you wouldn't normally get in your area. This is something that I use all the time to watch Netflix. They have super fast servers. There are over 5,560 countries. You can protect your data while you're traveling in public because there is absolutely no data logging. There's up to six simultaneous connections and if you have any issues there is 24 7 customer support and if you don't like it for whatever reason there is a 30-day money-back guarantee one of the best reasons to have a vpn especially for nordvpn is that you get double data encryption so that you can make sure to stay extra anonymous that way you don't have people tracking your history or your info especially if you're watching embarrassing shit like i am so if you're interested there is a special deal for international vpn day you can go to nordvpn.com slash read with cindy to get a two-year plan plus four additional months for a huge discount. Go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to NordVPN instead. Goodbye.